One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two. <laughs> two.
The Lord be with you. Let us worship God. O Lord, open our lips. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his cause with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. To God, the only God, who saves us through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory and majesty dominion and authority before all time and now and forever. Brethren, we have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence for an all praise service tagged altar of praise to specially offer praise and thanksgiving to our God in the fellowship of one another to hear and receive his holy word and to seek his grace that through his son Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit we may give ourselves to his service living and walking to his praise and glory but knowing, as Isaiah, that we are men of unclean lips and dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, we need to humble ourselves before the most holy God and confess our sins to receive forgiveness from him and have our lips opened for his praise and worship. So let us... In silence, examine ourselves before the Almighty God, meekly kneeling. Let us humbly confess our sins in the words of the general confession. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon, absolution, and remission of all your sins time for amendment of life and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can we please stand for the glory?
we begin with special worship unto our Lord as we ask our band, the choir band, to lead us. We can stand for the worship, the band. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has been faithful to us. January to October 1st. We have not been found wanting. We are not in the hospital. His grace has kept us. We want to worship the Lord this morning in the beauty of His holiness. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never failed me. All of my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so
morning jam those hands for the Lord hallelujah amen please be seated please be seated if your hands are not busy I want us to jam it in together as we invite the saxophone presentation Revy Sax Revy Sax All right. Um, while we wait for Revy Sachs, I will go to the next um, presentation, which is high praise. Just tell the person beside you, I'm just getting started. All right. And so we want to invite forward engineer Chima Obi, Ogu, and his team. Please let's jam our hands together as they come forward. Let's jam those hands together as they come forward. Hallelujah. Can you be on your feet as we worship God this morning? If you know that God has been good to you, can you just put your hands together for Him? Amen. Hallelujah. We worship you. For true worshippers, people who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Now is the time that the true worshippers of God must worship him. I want you to just make a joyful noise in his presence.
Hallelujah. Can you jump those hands for Jesus? Amen. Please be seated. We thank God for that session. May God's name continually be praised in Jesus' name. That is engineer Chima Obim Ogu and his team. May God's blessings be upon you in Jesus' name. And so we invite our own very choir for their presentation.
if you are happy, can you jump those hands together for Jesus? If you are happy, can you jump those hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. The Lord's name be praised. Of course, we have another guest artist in the house. And so I want to invite forward Henry Uju for music presentation. Can we clap our hands as she comes forward? Hallelujah. You are shouting, you are screaming, and you are sitting down. Can we be on our feet and make a joyful noise? Look to your left, to your right, and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Now, I'm from Delta State. I like talking with pigeon. Tell your neighbor, say, you wear shoe come. I've been as sleep as you wear come. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. If you know, say, you know, go get comfortable here. Give me space. Because... I won't praise my God. Tell your neighbor, say, are you ready? See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head. Like a little baby, you watch over me. Boy. You know they carry Henry they play. I serve a God who is powerful. I serve a God who is mighty. God is a good God. You call it miracle. Can we go now? Tell your neighbor, say, my neighbor, give me space. I want to praise Baba God. Oh. I want to hear it hot. Jesus, Tell your neighbor, people will get I they see a mo. People will get here, they hear a mo. People will get mad, they talk a mo. Jesus of Ben Mali. You will get I you, they see a mo. People will get here, they hear a mo. People will get mad, they talk a mo. Jesus of Ben Mali. Jesus Can I hear your music now? Give the Lord a dance. Kamara ne titi bani le, Kamara ne titi bani le. Ti oba Everybody, Kamara. 
from the book of 2nd Chronicles of chapter 20 from verse 18 to 24. Jehoshaphat bowed down with his face to the ground 
And all the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down in worship before the Lord. Then some Levites from the Kohathites and Korahites stood up and praised the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. Early in the morning, they left for the desert of Tekoa. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Israel. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets, and you will be successful. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out at the head of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab, and Maltia, who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. The Ammonites and Moabites rose up against the men from Maltia to destroy and annihilate them. After they finished slaughtering the men from they they helped to destroy one another. When the men of Judah came to the place that overlooks the desert, and looked towards the vast army, they saw only dead bodies lying on the ground. No one had escaped. This is the word of the Lord.
The second reading is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, from verse 10. Hebrews 13, verse 10. We have an altar from which those who minister at the tabernacle have no right to eat. The high priest carries the blood of animals into the most holy place as a sin offering, but the bodies are burned outside the camp. And so Jesus also suffered outside the city gate to make the people holy through his own blood. Let us then go to him outside the camp bearing the disgrace he bore. For here we do not have an enduring city, but we are looking for the city that is to come. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Today is a special day of praise. And uh, the next hymn, we all shout us to the word of God. We will also use it for the Vicarage Collection of Vicarage Building Fund and pledges as members of the parish and Lady Dockers orphanage. And being a special day, we have a special person that God will use to minister to us. He was born in a mission field to the missionary that God used to plant the church in what has become, or what is the FCT, the entire FCT, now three dioceses, Abuja, Kubuwa, Bagwalada. And the born in the mission field, he grew in the mission field and became a missionary himself. And in this diocese, he is the coordinator of the evangelist and uh, mission work. And uh, he's the canon ministerial <laughs> of his diocese. Um, you know him, he is a very simple man uh, living the life of praise and jolly. So he has come to tell us about praise. He is the venerable Dr. Olusegu. Emmanuel Akiola. So we take the next hymn as we collect the offertory. There will now be the time for him to minister. He is the vicar of Anglican Church of the Resurrection, Duboy. They call themselves Accord, A C O R D. So today is also a special day for them, but we managed to have him. So he may also leave to join in the service. You are welcome, and we pray God will use you mightily to minister to us. So we take the next hymn, uh, which is also the hymn for Simon. <laughs>
be seated. If the band or choir knows this song, uh, you help me, assist me to sing it. See how far you've brought me. Huh? See how far you've brought me, Lord, I've come to worship you. See how far you've brought me, Lord, I've come to worship you. See how far, see how far, how far you've helped me, you've helped me, Lord, Lord, I've come. How far you favored me. See how far you favored me. Oh Lord, Lord, I've come to worship. See how far you loved me. majesty we acknowledge that you are the king of kings the lord of lords you've been faithful lord from the ages past that is why present and forevermore you remain faithful the unchanging changer the immovable mover the unshakable shaker thank you lord that you loved us so much with an everlasting love you loved us so much that even when we ran away you brought us back home to a place where we know that we are founded on the solid rock of our lord jesus christ we thank you lord for this season of praise we thank you because we know that we are praising you from a point of victory we pray that just as you granted to Jehoshaphat, all around us, we shall find rest in the name of Jesus. We shall find peace in the name of Jesus. We shall find comfort in the name of Jesus. May your Holy Spirit minister to us, speak to us in your own special way. Meet our needs one by one in the name of Jesus. The Lord, as our praises have gone up, may blessings shower down upon your children in the name of Jesus. May no single soul, male or female, boy, girl, man, woman, live here without your blessings in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you're happy to be in the presence of God, shout hallelujah. Come on, come on, shout a big hallelujah. I have been hearing a lot about this church. I thought you were a firebrand church. Shout a big hallelujah. Amen. It is such a wonderful thing to be here this morning. 
not just any other day, the 1st of October, the day of our independence as Nigerians. If you're happy for Nigeria, can you clap for Jesus? Okay, the clap, the clap is not so much. I understand, I understand. But if you're happy that you know God is about to do something new in Nigeria, why not clap for Jesus? We're not clapping for Tinubu. We're not clapping for anybody. It's Jesus we're clapping for. Shout a big hallelujah! You know, each time you want to talk about Nigeria, there's always this, you know, heartbeat you feel. You feel, you feel very sad. You feel very discouraged. But we serve a God who is powerful. We serve a God who is wonderful. You know, people who want to jaqua, they jaqua. Yes, no problem, jaqua. But look at the history of many of these countries. They did not just grow overnight. It takes time. This is a process. It is taking time. But surely, because we keep pressing and we keep pushing and we keep fighting, we shall see the breakthrough in the name of Jesus. We shall see the breakthrough in the name of Jesus. With your own two eyes, you, you shall see God turn things around for the good of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Let me not take too much time. My vicar, I appreciate you so much for inviting me here this morning. I thank the PCC. I thank the clergy, Reverend Emmanuel. Uh, you're welcome. I heard you just recently got transferred here. Uh, the vicar's wife, uh, Mommy Angel. We call her Angel when we're in cathedral, so I still call her Angel now, Mrs. Ikweja Ajo. We thank every one of us. We appreciate the choir. I appreciate the PCC, everyone who are involved in this process. I have a very limited time, and though this program was meant to be for three days, we have tried to shorten it into 20 minutes, uh, so the Lord will help us in Jesus' name, from three days to 20 minutes, so you understand with me. I've tried to summarize uh, many of the points that we're going to be looking at into five points, so very quickly we'll go into five points. We are looking at the power in praise, but I added the word worship the power in praise or the power in worship. And the key text is Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21 and 22. We see there the story of Jehoshaphat, whom in verse 1 of that same chapter 20, he noticed that many enemies were rising up against him. About three countries rose up against him. Ammon, Moab, and, uh, and uh, okay, thank you for putting it there. Uh, it came to pass also that the children of Moab, the children of Ammon, and which other one? There's one other one, I think maybe verse 4 or verse 5. The third one is also put there. So, army surrounded him and he was filled with fear that what will he do? Filled with fear. That is one thing that the devil always uses against God's children. He puts fear in their heart for them to feel paralyzed, for them to feel weak, for them to turn back and say, where do we now run to? And just as we feel even in Nigeria, we're wondering, where do we turn to? Who can help us? Who can deliver us? Jehoshaphat took one basic action. He went back to God. He did not go back to calculate his army. He did not go back to calculate his resources. He did not go back to look at anyone else except God. So this morning, we shall look at five powerful things about praise and worship. Five powerful things about praise and worship. Number one, worship invites God. Worship invites God. Psalm 22, verse 1 to 3. It says very clearly there that God inhabits the praises of his people. God dwells there. God inhabits there. God stays there. God res he takes residence in the praises of his people. In other words, he shows up. In worship, we invite God. When God is present, when there is light, what happens to darkness? It disappears. When God is there, the devil disappears. And I want to use this time to enjoy the choir. I know you may have been doing it, and the band leaders, anytime you know you're going to lead in, in worship the following Sunday, make sure you take time out to pray. Make sure you take time out to fast, if possible, fast. You know, to seek the face of God, so that as you come here in worship, you're able to take people to the heavenlies. Worship invites God. It brings God's presence. It's not just about the music. It's not just about playing the right keys. It's about inviting God's presence in our midst. Number two, worship shifts our focus. Worship shifts our focus. Many times when we pray, just like Jehoshaphat, we are filled with fear. You are filled with the impossibility. You are thinking about the things that may not, be, may not happen. But in worship, it shifts your mindset. It shifts your focus because when you're worshiping, your worship is focused on God. It will take, you, it will take a very hard mind not to be able to think and focus on God when you're worshiping. 
So in worship, we actually shift our focus, we shift our mindset towards God. Number three, worship lifts our spirits or lifts up our souls. It lifts up our spirits or it lifts up our souls. Many times when we approach God, of course, like we said earlier, we approach God with fear. You have burdens. You're thinking about your children. You're thinking about school fees. You're thinking about the dollar rise. You're thinking about your education. You're thinking about your marriage. So much anxiety surrounds us. So many things to be fearful of. But when we worship, praise is able to uproot that root of fear. It's able to uproot that root of anxiety. It's able to uproot that burden. Because your focus is now on God. When God is exalted in worship, he exchanges our fear. He exchanges our burdens. He exchanges our anxieties for peace and for joy. Like the Bible says, he exchanges our mourning. He exchanges our, our, our mourning and he gives us joy. He turns everything around for good. You know, many times when we think about the devil himself, he uses music because you know he was the choir master back in heaven. And so even till now, he uses music in many ways. It is so disappointing many times when you go for even children's birthdays or children's programs or whatever, the kind of song that they're playing for children to play and to dance. Come to church and sing him. Come to church and do something in church. They have no idea what the, the songs in church may be. Parents, you need to take note. Let these children, let these young ones grow in the worship, in the praise of our God Almighty so that when they hear something different, they know that this one is different. Let them not grow up on all these musicians that we have nowadays. I don't know their songs, all them David Doe and the rest of them. There's one that is all over social media now. They say he died, something, something, so many stories. I have no idea. I just know something is going on out there in the world. Let us grow up in the knowledge and the love of God, building up our lives on Christian music, on worship. Let your life be filled with worship because once that happens, that burden, that anxiety, it disappears. Number four, worship gives us ultimate victory. Tell your neighbor, I have ultimate victory. No, no, tell your neighbor it only believes, I have ultimate victory. Now, something happens when we pray. When we pray, it's as if we're praying for victory. You're praying for victory. But when you worship, when you praise, you're praising from victory. Are you getting the difference? When you're praying, you're praying for victory. Oh, Lord, I want this. Lord, I turn this around. Lord, do this. Lord, do that. But when you worship, when you praise, you're praising from a point of victory. You're not asking God to do something anymore. You already know that he's already done it. Just as he even told Jehoshaphat. He told him, he says, this battle is not yours. It is mine. All you have to do is take position. Stand firm and you'll see the victory of the Lord. Can I speak over somebody's life? You will stand firm and see the victory of the Lord on your behalf in the name of Jesus. That battle you've been fighting, you've been stressing over all this time. God is saying, move aside. Let me take over for you and he will win that victory for you in the name of Jesus. That is why the Bible says we are more than conquerors. It did not say we are conquerors. It did not say we are fighters. It did not say we are warriors. We are more than them because you don't have to fight the battle. He has won the victory already. More than 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary, Jesus Christ did what he said. It is finished. So why are you worrying? Why are you carrying that problem on your head as if you're the one that created the problem? Why are you carrying Nigeria's problem on your head as if you're the one that will solve it? Why are you carrying your family's problem on your head as if you're the one that will solve it? Run back to God who told you you are more than a conqueror. All you have to do is take position. All you have to do is stand firm. All you have to do is to know your confidence as a child of God that when you praise him, when you worship him, as you stand up from that place of worship, you will see victory all around you in the name of Jesus. Oh, that amen is too cold. I say you will see victory in the name of Jesus. Look at what happened to Paul and Silas. They were arrested. You should have thought that, ah, that is when they will start kabashing. They will start casting and binding. They will pray for the death of the king. They will pray for the death of this one, pray for the death of that one. What did they do? They were praying and they were singing unto the Lord. And as they were praying and singing unto the Lord, what happened? Deliverance came for them. 
They were not singing, oh God, come and deliver us from this place. Come and remove us from this place. We must preach your gospel. No, but even in that place of joy and peace, in that place of worship, what happened? Deliverance came. I want to prophesy over someone's life. This season we are entering now. I saw the project you're building there. God will use only a few men. When I say men, I mean it in generic term, both men and women. God will use only a few men and women because he will catapult you to a position where you will see victory all around you in the name of Jesus. But you must take that step of faith. <laughs> it's not easy to let go of the little that you have. When many people give, sometimes they say, oh, we are giving our widow's mind. We're giving our widow's mind. That woman gave her everything. That was her last cover. Who can take such bold step of faith that I am believing God in this season. I am believing God for the next level he wants to take me to. And so because I am believing God, I sow this seed onto the kingdom work. I give this thing onto God's establishment. No need for announcement. No need for names to be written. No need for any acknowledgement. I know why I'm giving this thing onto God's kingdom work. And when you do that in secret, God will embarrass you in the public in the name of Jesus. He will take you to the higher level in the name of Jesus. Jehoshaphat did not need to lift up a finger. There are many people who have been expecting promotions. Many people have been expecting an upliftment. But have you take, taken position in God? Or you're trying to look for Tinubu's number? <laughs> it's, ah, it's along, uh, unless I have this connection. Oh, unless I know somebody in Also Villa. Unless I know someone here, I know someone there. Who knew Joseph where he was? Who knew David where he was? Who knew Abraham where he was? No one knew, but God knew, knew them. And from the desert places, from the wilderness, even when they were rejected, God put them up in a high platform. I pray over someone's life. No matter where you've been rejected and rejected before, God will take you to a higher plane in the name of Jesus. He said, a city set upon a hill can never be hidden. He will lift you up in the name of Jesus. All eyes will see that truly, this one has been helped help of God. Number five. Worship brings you into God's presence. Remember we said number one, God inhabits the praises of his people. That's God coming down. But this time, worship brings you into God's presence. We usually sing this song in Psalm 100. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates. Each moment you come to church, right from the gates there, no matter what has been worrying you before, no matter what has been disturbing you before, drop that thing at the gate and enter with thanksgiving. Bible says in every situation we should do what? We should give thanks. So yes, you're sorrowing. Yes, there's a body in your heart. Yes, there's anxiety in your heart. Yes, there's fear in your heart. Oh, they, are, they, have, been, they have been calling you all kinds of names. There have been accusations. There have been fightings here and there. As you, soon as you get to the gate, let it be filled with thanksgiving. Begin to thank God, even for those bad things you're going through. Because as you give thanks there, you now have access to his courts. And in his courts, what do you do? You give praise. You give praise in his cause. You must come into his presence and give him praise. It is only in his presence you can find joy. It is only in his presence you can find peace. It is only in his presence you can find safety. Praise and worship is a deeper level of dependence on God. Total dependence. And you can make it a habit. It's very simple. Someone says anything you do continually for two weeks, whether you like it or not, that thing becomes a habit. If you want to have a habit of praise and worship, Let's look at your song playlists. What songs do you listen to every day? What songs do you wake up to in the morning? What songs do you play while you're driving? What songs do you play before you go to bed? Let worship fill your life. Let worship fill your phone. Fill your life with, with the word of God, with the worship of God, day and night. I'm not just saying it because I'm preaching someone. I want you to actually take note of it in your life. Two weeks. Say, I won't listen to... Uh, David o, I won't listen to uh, give me their names now uh, eh? which one again <laughs> choir members you know their names I mean. <laughs> give yourself two weeks I see I will fast 
away from this world in music, secular music. Not as if they are bad. There are some of them that sing about love, sing about, I'm not sure if anybody sings about a change in our nation and stuff like that. People used to sing about those kind of things before. Now it's, it's just gyration. Just want to be happy, just want to drink. Just If you give yourself that, see, oh, I know this kind of music I've been listening to all this while. All of you that are like going to club. Come to the club of Jesus here. Amen. Fill your life with God's music. If you have some of those ones in your phone before, put them in another folder. Say this one, trash bin. Then select the, 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 those worshippers of God. Select them. Start listening to their song. Two weeks. I give you two weeks. Just keep worship, listening to them over and over again. Learn new songs. Learn to worship. Learn to praise. Learn to spend time in God's presence so that you will be catapulted into God's presence. You'll be able to see that what God wants to do in your life. Finally, dear people of God, your breakthrough is at hand. Your breakthrough is at hand. Your breakthrough is at hand. Bible says it is not by power. It is not by might. It's by what? By my spirit, says the Lord. It is not you who have to fight this battle. God says even when the devil comes like a raging wind, comes like a storm, what will he do? He will raise up a standard on your behalf. I see God raising somebody in this place in the name of Jesus. He will take you to a higher standard in the name of Jesus. He will take you to a higher plane in the name of Jesus. The place you have never seen the victory of God before. God will lift you up to that place in the name of Jesus. He will strengthen you in the name of Jesus. What you could not do before, what you thought was impossible before, it will become possible in the name of Jesus. You say, how will this happen? It is God who will make it happen. All you have to do, like Jehoshaphat, is to stand back and see the victory of the Lord. In that same Second Chronicles, uh, Second Chronicles 20 verse 30, after all the accomplishments of Jehoshaphat, what did the Bible say about him? It says, the Lord gave him all round rests. All round rests. Whatever pain, whatever anxiety, whatever fears, whatever thing that has not been allowing you to sleep, God will cause you all round rest in the name of Jesus. You will think about your family, rest in the name of Jesus. When you think about your finances, rest in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus, but you think about your health, rest in the name of Jesus. No matter what you're going through in this life, the Lord will grant you rest round about in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. See how far you've brought me, Lord. I've come to worship. See how far you've helped me. See how far you've held me, Lord, I've come to worship. See how far you've loved me. See how far you've loved me. You favored me. See how far you favored me. Lord, I've come. I want to pray for a few people who want to make a commitment to God. It is a personal thing, even if it's one person. I'm fine with that. You want to make a commitment to God. You have a big project at hand. But you are thinking more of the things that you need to tidy up. You don't even have the kind of finances that would take care of such a place like that. But you know that in this place of, on this altar of praise and worship, the Lord can cause a breakthrough for you. A breakthrough that you will come and say what is the total bill for this place a kind of breakthrough that you know that within the twinkling of an eye everything that is perturbing the church you can say just in one check <laughs> it is possible people of God but whoever it is that wants to make such commitment to God it is left to you I won't say oh hundred thousand one million whatever you will make your own personal commitment to God that Lord this that I have, 
I want to give on this altar of praise and worship for the work of your church, believing that as you granted to Jehoshaphat rest around about, you also grant to me. Very quickly, just stand up wherever you are. Your commitment is your personal, is your personal covenant with God. Is your personal covenant with God. Everyone close your eyes. This is your own personal covenant with God. See, there are some who will say, see, it is only 10,000 I have, but I want to give this thing because I believe God for my business. I believe God for my career. I believe God. That in spite of the enemies around me, he's able to grant me breakthrough. He's able to grant me the kind of provision that I never imagined before. Very quickly, just stand up wherever you are. We'll say a word of prayer. You want to make a commitment to God. It's your own personal commitment. You can even write it down somewhere. Make your personal commitment to God. You have been doing it all this while, but I want you to focus your attention more on this altar of praise today. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, here are your children who want to make a commitment to you. I place this ones, oh God, on your altar. You know what they are going through. You know the difficulties at hand. You know they, don't, they may not even have the kind of amount they are thinking about to give to your kingdom service. But Lord, they have stood up in faith, knowing fully well you are able to grant the breakthrough. So Lord, I decree upon their lives May your anointing fall in the name of Jesus. May your grace that you granted to Jacob, even in a land of famine, he prospered. He continued to prosper until he became prosperous. Lord, these ones will continue to prosper in the name of Jesus. They will become prosperous in the name of Jesus. Lord, as they give, not minding what they have, not minding what they lack, they give to your kingdom service. I pray that the windows of heaven be open unto your children in the name of Jesus. The kind of blessings that will embarrass them, oh God, grant unto them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray for every one of us. We thank God for his mercies upon our lives and all our worship and all our praise. Lord, many who also made the commitment to listening and making worship a part of their lives from henceforth. I pray that as we make such commitments, Heavenly Father, your Holy Spirit will be here to minister to us each day in the name of Jesus. No matter the way the devil has come like a roaring lion, come like a storm, come like a heavy wind, you will remain standing in the name of Jesus. You will see the victory of the Lord on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Every battles you have been fighting all this while, from January, February, even up to now, you have been fighting battles. The Lord will grant you rest in the name of Jesus. He will grant you peace in the name of Jesus. He will fight that battle for you. And all you shall see around you is victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Sunday after Trinity. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Teach us to offer us access to your service, that here we may have your peace, and in the world to come may see you face to face, through Jesus Christ our Lord. and lover of concord in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life whose service is perfect freedom defend us your humble servant in all our sorts of our enemies that we surely trust in your defense may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of jesus christ our lord an everlasting God who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same way with your mighty power and grant that this way day we fall into no sin neither run into any kind of danger or that all our duties may be ordered by your government to do always what is righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. We now invite Brother Collins for session of praise, praise session, before we go into prayer. Please, uh, this uh, Mercedes car, ABJ 507HS, please help us. Uh, our pressure is being blocked and we need to leave. Mercedes AB5, ABJ 507HS. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you're happy in the house, can you be upstanding as we worship God? I want you to look at the person sitting next to you. Look at your neighbor, eyeball to eyeball. If you cannot look at your neighbor, eyeball to eyeball, look at your neighbor's nose. Now tell your neighbor, neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Your trouble is in trouble. For God shall trouble your troubles today. Say neighbor, your trouble is in trouble. For God will trouble your troubles today. Can you shout a big hallelujah? Talking. 
The great physician now is near the sympathize in Jesus. He speaks the truth, being has to cheer. Oh, hear the voice of Jesus. Has Lord in Sarah's song, sweet as the name on a mother's heart, oh, sweetest carol ever sung, Jesus. to do something. It's called the great physician. Call him the great physician in your local dialect. In Igbo dialect, they call him Dibia Uku. Call him the great physician in your local dialect. Shall we sing it together? Dibia Uku Lonso Uwa Jesus Onye I feel discouraged, child. Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is? My portion, my constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. For his eye is on the sparrow kind and I know he watches oh hallelujah I sing because I'm happy oh I sing because I'm free his eyes Yes, on the spark, oh, and I know he was. Wash it, sing it, sing it, hallelujah. I sing because I'm happy, oh, I sing because I'm free. I is on the spot, oh, and I know he watches me. Worship him, give him praise. 
Oh, we we ho me re mo hun ja si ya na re ke le. Oh, we we ho me re mo hun ja si ya na re. Oh, we we ho me re mo hun ja si ya na re. Chi o ma de me ma. Oh, we we ho me re mo hun ja si ya na re. Ebu be di ke na ga. Oh, we we ho me re mo hun ja si ya na re. Chi o ma chi o ma chi o. Oh, I will lift up his name Can you raise your hands and shout hallelujah? Even before I pray, 
Jehovah Jireh and Sunday to bet you go, he has started for me. I said, even before I called, Jehovah Jireh and Sunday to bet you go, he has started. Oh, yeah, see the way he lifted me to bet you go, to bet Jehovah, to bet you go, to bet Jehovah, to bet you go. But you see the way he answered me to bet your poo, to bet you over, to bet your poo, to bet you over, to bet your poo. He has done it for me. I said, even before I prayed, Jehovah Jireh answered me to bet your poo. He has done it for me. Say, even before I call, Jehovah Nisi answered me to bet your go, he has stopped. I see the way he lifted me to bet your go, to bet Jehovah, to bet your go, to bet Jehovah, to bet your go, he has thought you go. We sing Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Say, Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Say, Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Jehovah, we give you glory. Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Oh, yeah, why you will say anointing? 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 Holy Ghost, release my favor. Holy Ghost to release my favor. Holy Ghost to receive my favor. Holy Ghost to release my favor. Holy Ghost to give you glory. 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 The Holy Ghost to give you glory. Oh, Holy Ghost to give you glory. 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 Oh Sarah, oh Sarah, oh Sarah, oh oh Sarah, 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 can you raise your hands and shout hallelujah
people, people they ask me, say, now waiting they make me fire. I just they tell them, say.
chapidare, la chapidare, draw me yara, yara to the Lord, draw me yara.
we are lepers which should afar off. Hallelujah. Go down, go down. And they, they lifted up their voice and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Go down. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go ye, show thyself unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Down. One of them, tell somebody, one of them. When he saw that he was healed, turned back and went a loud voice, qualifying God down. And he fell down on his face at his feet, giving thanks. And he was a Samaritan. 17. And Jesus answering said, We are, we are there, not then. Cleansed, ten cleansed, but we are uh, the nine. He cleansed the ten, and the only one came. He said, Where are the nine? Where are the nine? God is asking you, Where are the nine? Are you among the nine that cannot stand up this morning and praise God for giving you two legs? Go to General Hospital. Can you be on your feet? Say, Lord. I cannot be among the nine. I am on the that one that came to you this morning. I am the one. You have showed me mercy. You have showed me mercy. I come to thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Say, my father, my father, I thank you this morning because I'm not among the nine who did not understand what you have done in their lives. I came here this morning to appreciate you. Can you begin to appreciate God? Thank God for whom you are. Thank God for your family. Thank God for the rest of the month. The year is running down. I want you to know many people are no more. Many have been fighting to kill. But God has preserved your life. What we are to begin to appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Mashakala baba baba. Begin to appreciate God. You have shown me mercy, Lord. I am the one you have shown mercy. I don't know about you. Jesus has shown me. Verse 10. Hallelujah. Psalm 
103 verse 10. He said, He has not stayed with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Hallelujah. God has never dealt with us. Can you begin to appreciate Him? He has never rewarded you because you have sinned. Because you have sinned against Him. He's a merciful God. I don't know that Him that you did. He did not deserve to live. But God gave you life. Yes. He did not deserve to see tomorrow. But God has given you tomorrow. I appreciate this God. I appreciate this God. He has, he has, he has not counted your sin against you. It, is, it, is, it can only be God. Look at you, human being. If you offend them, they will remove you from their book. But this God shows mercy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's begin to thank God for Nigeria. I want to tell you, the thing that's happening in this country, if it's in another country, all of us don't jack back. But God is still holding Nigeria. We are going to say, Lord, we thank you for suspending every war, for suspending every wickedness for the sake of Nigeria. Hope you are my to thank God. For God returning Nigeria to today, we are not like Sudan. We are not running a diet. We are not in refugee center. I want to tell you, if war starts, no matter what you have, they will start from there. They will destroy it. But God suspended war just to maintain Nigeria. Can you begin to appreciate it? Appreciate our leaders. Appreciate our leaders in this country. Appreciate God. Appreciate God for giving us leaders. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to thank God for your family. Seek He can lead them. So today is the first day. He can lead them. He can lie down. Can you just in a minute, just in a minute, just close your eyes and begin to appreciate God deep inside you. Let God know that you are happy. I am the one, oh, you have showed me mercy, oh. You have showed me mercy. You have showed me mercy. Lord, I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Church 
for God. We appreciate you for our brothers and sisters. We thank you on their behalf. By the December that first, we still appreciate you on their behalf. In the name of our Lord Jesus, none of us shall miss. We will see the end. The end will not see us. This month, as we have entered the month with Thanksgiving, the things that will make you that appreciate God will never elude you and your family. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. It's now time for tithes. If you are with your tithes, they will take the next song and we will bring our tithes for prayers. us pray. Father, we appreciate you. We thank you for today. We are giving you thanks for your blessings. We join these, your children to give you thanks, even if they have come to offer for what you have blessed them. We pray that that shower of blessing which has come upon us, continue to come upon us, we even increase in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive their offerings, Lord. Continue to make ways for them. Let your favor, your goodness and mercy always follow them. And may they find help from you and continue to be glorified in their lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. be with you. This time we will now come for uh, general thanksgivings. We have Sunday offering, mission fund support, covenant seed, and the welfare fund. Let me use this time to make a special appeal. Uh, the mission fund support. We want to use it for 
special things. You are sisters that we need right now. Let me thank those that gave the last time that assisting us now for this service. If you, you can see our sound, we spent over a million naira to have the sound the way they are now. But we still need more. But the main issue now is our media. Um, the people we invited from Lagos, if they look at what we have, there is problem. No more projection. What you are seeing here now, I don't know, is uh, David and his team. They know what they are able to do to have these things going on. And only them, this one can get up. And uh, in fact, we had to get things on credit to maybe so, uh -huh, to uh, see how it works. And that's how it's getting now. But if you look at this place, you will see the items that really need to be put in place. It's getting to, I don't know, four million naira or so or more, millions of naira, you can see the cost. But I know nothing is beyond God. We want to appeal what you are led to do. During the sermon, we had that so after we look away, praise take us away from our problems and challenges. When these things come, sometimes I, I take my mind away. It shouldn't um, be my problem. Because we look unto God. We trust God. God makes ways for his work. And uh, that time, the preacher was led for some people to say, this is what I will do. I, I don't know those people. I didn't even look. He said we should not look. So some people, if you stood up, I don't know what you agreed with the Lord. But um, now, you will have to take it to the account, which account, the development, the first uh, bank. Uh, the first bank, you know, they are uh, here, Maka, waiting to happen. Huh? Secretary, you know, put first bank, we don't remove them. There is first bank, okay, let's leave the first bank, it's not here. Okay, it's here on the something, I think it's omitted in the bulletin. So it's for development. Whatever your mind is telling you about this development, things we need in this church right now and urgently, very urgently. We don't want to begin to call you for donation, um, but we know that this type of giving, even at this time of praise, that God will not leave you on the water. And we don't want to know who you are and what you are giving, but God knows. So you can give whatever we find here. Except if your mind is telling you that you want to give about the vicarage. Because he says something about that. And I know he didn't just say that. God asked him to say something. So maybe God is talking to one or two people. If you, your mind is telling you it's about project, there is the account there for the project. And that is, um, um, what is the account now, the UBA, right? where is it? The account, UBA account, give whatever you have to that project, if what God is laying in your hand. But if not for the vicarage project, any other thing, pay it to the first bank account that is here now. And then when we now come, um, you now give your offering, you give for the mission, um, whatever you have, then the welfare and the covenancy. So the band 
will continue to give us music. Uh, those that your phone people have there come, they never come again. They are not here. Okay. So, um, the band, we will Hallelujah. dance and come and give thanks to God. Open the right to matter of God. Hey!
unity. I thank those that are in their green and white. Thank you for that obedience. We are celebrating our oneness in this country. It's God who has made it. By divine providence, next Sunday, we will celebrate our diversity. You know, it's God that has brought us from different places. It's something great that we are blessed in this country. We must thank God for. So, um, next one, it won't be green and white. It will be our different uh, areas that God has brought us forth. And we are one in this church. So, um, before we go to uh, the special Thanksgiving, we just have three. And we round off. Let me call the harvest committee. Just come on five minutes. Just, you know, next Sunday, our celebration continues. And um, let's know exactly, just briefly, update us. Where are they? Just, eh? uh -huh. just five minutes. And um, we now go for special Thanksgiving. Immediately after them, Mr. and Mrs. Kelechi Onyenso, the child was baptized yes, last two days, and they want to give thanks to God. They will come immediately after them. The Esther Women's Group, Esther Women's Group, they will come. Then after the Esther Women's Group, it will be family harvest. For today, Aman Zoke, Rengozi Rufina, Oketukundidi, Livina, uh, Ajie Rego, Rishi Demma, Mr. and Mrs. Ebushu Frank, uh, Chrissy Ibaushi, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kezia Kezia Golden, Rishi Demma, Obasi Ucheshi, Emelda, Mr. and Mrs. Chide Bele, David, Mr. and Mrs. Usuago, Rishi Mbam, uh, Mr. and Lady Frank Lilo uh, Hakim, they say they will come the upper week. Next Sunday, there won't be family harvest. The barrister, Augustine Ezano Shea, Mr. and Mrs. Beauty, Ozarize, Omorowa, and Mr. and Mrs. Kelechi Onyenso, again. Uh, you will come for special Thanksgiving and you will come for family harvest. So, um, the, all this family will come before we round off. 
Thank you. Thank you, Vika. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Um, Vika, I must say, if, if you go outside, I called the media and I told them, I said, can they create a camera and just video the cats outside? The whole place is filled up. And this shows that St. Philip's Anglican Church has what? People. Please, can we clap for ourselves? I do not know whether we understand the impact we are creating through the harvest. If you go behind this church, you will see what is happening there. This is beyond a miracle. We want to appreciate the church. Every little token you brought in here has continuously helped us to advance the Vicarage project. We appreciate you and we thank you. However, last week it's uh, our cultural harvest. St. Philip's Anglican Church is a leading church in the Diocese of Abuja. Not, I didn't say in uh, Warren Park, I said in the Diocese of Abuja. Without us, there may be no diocese. Somebody's not crying. <laughs> so we thank God that uh, we are joining so many other churches to elevate the diocese. Next week is going to be our cultural harvest. And uh, we are looking up to our members to come, worship, praise, and thank God with us in the form of cultural harvest. We advise everyone to come also with their dancing shoes, cultural harvest. What we are going to have next week will be much, much better than what we're having uh, today. We will be welcoming the South, South region. And we ask, please, that the South, South region will be led by Sir Urefe and Mrs. McDonald. We will also be welcoming the Southwest region. This will be led by Mr. and Mrs. Againde. We will be welcoming the North and Middle Belt. This will be led by Machibi Pat. And also we'll be welcoming South East. The South East will be led by our leader, Sir Kene Mweke. Please be rest assured that there will be a whole lot of food for us next week. From the West to the South to the North to the East. So when you come in next week, there's going to be canopies all at the back there. If you're asked to park outside, please kindly do so. The whole of the outside, the whole of, you know, the front of the church there will be canopies to entertain people. Do not go anywhere. We are going to heavily entertain every single person. However, also next week, we expect you to come with a graceful gift unto the Lord. We are going to be calling on the Southeast. They will match up with their leader, Southwest the same, then followed by the North, and followed by the South-South. So when they do come up, they're going to give a general thanksgiving, and then the Southeast will also announce what they do want uh, to support the church with. The same pattern will go with the South-South, the same pattern will go with the Southwest. And then after that, we're also going to call for a little competition between the branch, between the regions, in also a form of cultural harvest to support the harvest as well. So we are hoping that everyone will come prepared, come happy, come cheerful, and as well come with their cultural attire. Thank you, and remain blessed. Thank you. So, Onyensa, the band, move on. Onyensa family. Kenichi will come up immediately after Amen. them. The Esther group you will follow immediately. After them, the families will come and will close. <laughs> Oh, boogie, 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 